So I bought some GameStop stock last week. In case you haven't noticed, there's been a big thing going on in the stock market right now with short selling and GameStop. Um, I didn't get in early. I got in super late. I got in just last week. Uh, but I wanted, to, I wanted to play. I wanted to get into it. I wanted to be part of the thing. That's, that's, that's okay, right? Anyway, I bought some GameStop stock last week. It's Sunday as I record this, the day before the market reopens. And um, I wanted to sort of document that fact that, that I did buy the stock and that, that I'm going through some things right now. Um, I wanted to do this on Sunday before the market's open again on Monday because Monday is going to be a big day for some folks. Quick primer uh, for those of you who don't really understand what's happening. You're aware of what's going on, but don't quite understand. Uh, this is what they're calling a short squeeze. Or what they're trying to do is do a short squeeze on this GameStop stock. Quick primer. Uh, a short sale is when a, an investor thinks or predicts that a stock is overvalued. That in the case of GameStop, that they're about to go out of business. And that even at you know $8 or $10, it's priced too high. So they borrow stock that they don't own and sell it first. They don't, they didn't buy it yet. They're just borrowing it to sell it at a very low price with the expectation that it's going to eventually, you know, get even lower. And then when the, when the, and then when the stock does get lower, they actually officially buy it at that lower amount, thus earning the, the difference. I don't know if that's making any sense. Um, but the problem is, is that instead of the stock going down, how they predict, the stock goes up. So they bought it at, or they're selling it at eight. And then when the time comes for them to buy it back, to officially buy it for real, it's at, you know, in the case of GameStop, $320 a share presently. So they, they sold it. It's in reverse. Basically, it's buying stocks in reverse. They bought it at 320 and are selling it at eight. Okay, so they've lost 200 and no, $312 per share. That's all theoretical right now. Uh, what's happening is that Redditors have spotted that, that, that investors were trying to buy or sell stock short and they have artificially inflated the value. They have, they have uh, uh, encouraged people to buy the stock. And when stock is purchased, the price goes up. Every time a stock goes, or every, every time a stock is bought, it increases its value. It's just, it's, it's economics. Every time a stock is sold, the price goes down. That's why you hear a, a bunch of folks saying, hold, hold. They, because they want all those stocks to be held until it's time for these investors to buy the stocks back. And they want them to buy it at that high, at that high amount. Making some grilled cheese. Getting back to what we're talking about. The reason why I wanted to sort of talk about it on a Sunday prior to Monday is because, as I mentioned, the next couple days are going to be huge. This is when it's supposed to squeeze. And the, the, the prediction, the possibility that everybody's talking about is that uh, a stock could go, you know, GameStop could go up to a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand even. Uh, and these are, this is, this is real. It's like, even today, uh, the, the possibilities of a huge uh, life-changing amount of money is already done. It's already happened. Let's say, for example, you bought 100 shares at $20 a share, which is, I mean, the stock was actually per, uh, available for less than that, if I recall. But let's say you got in at 20, you bought 100 shares, $2,000 in. If you were to sell today, right now, at 320, you would have made $30,000. You've turned 2,000 into 30. That's a that's an impressive number uh, for just a you know for a minimal risk. But if, as they predicted, let's say the stock goes up to 1,000 on Monday or Tuesday. Take that 300 or take that 30,000, multiply it by 30, and you're looking at $100,000. Could even go more. And there are people who own far more stock. I think I got in late. I, only, I got in at 250. I bought four shares. So I have $1,000 invested. It's just for fun. I, I, I bought enough so that, you know, it might be an interesting amount of money, but not so much that I'm putting anything at risk. I can afford to lose $1,000 on. Um, on GameStop stock, but I did get in on AMC at 10. I have 100 shares at 10. If AMC goes through the same thing, I have 100 shares at 10, and if that goes up to even 300, then that's that's a reasonable amount of money. It's the kind of money that makes it possible for me to focus completely on Fresh Baked and, and Royal Dorks, which is something that I've been trying to do for years. I've been trying to elevate the channels to the point where I can actually just survive on that income alone. 
right now I can't, especially because we just bought a house. So we're you know heavily invested on that, which by the way, that's doing really well uh, in terms of its market value, that's going up. But anyway, the, the point I'm trying to get at is that it's, this is a, an important couple of days for me and I'm trying to be like calm about it. <laughs> I'm trying to be calm and like, but I mean, if it, if, if the miracle happens, if the miracle happens, I'm in a position for a miracle. I put myself in position, our, us, our family in a position for a miracle to happen. If it does, then maybe, maybe we get to do fresh baked and royal dorks full time. Wouldn't that be something? It's been, you know, up until now already, because I, I bought in, what, on GameStop, I bought in on Wednesday. AMC, I bought in on Wednesday also. And um, there's this there's this fear that the, the tendency for new investors, for novice investors like myself, is to panic at every dip. Um, and I'm, I've done that before. I owned some Disney stock not long ago, and I saw it go down a little bit. I'm just like, ah, screw it. I just, I can't handle this. It's too, it's too much anxiety for me. I couldn't handle it, so I just sold it and I got rid of it because I didn't want to worry about it. Not because I thought it was going to die. I know it's going to go up eventually, but I just couldn't handle the anxiety. Uh, and I, I regretted that, obviously, because uh, as soon as um, the shutdown happened and COVID and all that, Disney stock has actually gone up a lot. And it would have been, a, a, you know, I would be, I would have gotten in maybe 50 bucks uh, less than it's priced at right now. But <laughs> so every time it's like, there's just so much anxiety with watching now because there are huge dips. Uh, GameStop has gone from 400 to 200 in a, in a day. Uh, and, and people are just like, the, the, what you're supposed to do is buy at 200, but a lot of people are selling it to them because they're afraid they're gonna lose their whole thing. But what I've tried to keep reminding myself is that I've, I'm assuming the money is gone. I'm assuming that I've lost all of it. And so anything that I get on top of that is, is sort of, you know, gravy, I guess. It, it's, it's icing on the cake. That's my daughter. You, you ready for a sandwich? Hold that thought. Would you like a grilled cheese sandwich? Yeah? Come on, let's try this. Oh, you know, let me get me a plate too. Oh, you hungry, honey? Okay, hold on. How's your sandwich? You like it? She's having ravioli in a grilled cheese sandwich. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. So the trick, the thing that I'm trying to do is remove the fear and hold on to these stocks, even though you know news is coming out that a lot of the big investors have already sold their GameStop stock. It's not known if that squeeze is ever gonna happen. I mean, the squeeze has already happened to some extent. It's gone from single digits to 300 plus. Lots of people have sold. I read a story about a 10 year old kid who uh, they didn't say how much he, he earned what his net gain was, but it was, the percentage was something like 500%. So multiply whatever you would have put in as a, as a, as a 10 year old, <laughs> $10, dollars $50, whatever, 50 times 500 is a lot. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> it's a lot. So tomorrow, Monday, uh, you know, I'm going to go through some things. I'm going to be watching. I've never hit the refresh button so many times than I have in these last couple days watching these stocks. As far as that goes, I got in just to be a part of it, just to say that I played a little bit in the in the GameStop thing. But even, let's say I bought it 250. I mean, if it goes up to 1,000, then uh, I make, uh, what, a couple thousand dollars? I make uh, three or 4,000 dollars. It's not life-changing money, but it's fun. I don't think it's going to though. It doesn't feel like it. To me, it doesn't feel like it will. But there's still hope for the AMC stock. What's gotta happen though is they, we gotta get that squeeze has to happen. Like I said, I bought a hundred. I think I have a hundred right now at 10, which was is another thousand dollars. I can, I don't wanna lose a thousand dollars, but I can, I, you know, I'd be okay if I did. It's a risk, not a, not a big one, but really what I feel like it is, is it's an investment in a miracle, a possible miracle. 
and this is not new for me. I, <laughs> it's weird how, how like obsessed I've gotten with this. And this is something that I've done in the past where I'll get into a thing. I used to be, uh, you may have heard me talk about it before. I was a semi-pro poker player. So I'm accustomed to putting money on the line in order to earn more money. And I was pretty good at it. You know, I had a system and it was, it was my, I've always had some sort of uh, side hustle ever since I was, you know, in college, basically, I've always had two jobs. There's a regular job and then there's the side hustle. Sometimes it was just a second job, but sometimes it was, you know, I used to gamble on golf too. When I was playing golf regularly back in the day, I would, I would play money games and I did all right with that too. Uh, but, you know, poker was a thing that I, I made a, a decent side income on that, you know, a few thousand a month um, until until uh, it became illegal to play poker online. You can still play in their card houses, but I, I played online. But I studied poker relentlessly. I studied it relentlessly. I figured out odds. I studied, you know, what is most likely or least likely to happen and that kind of thing. What kind of situations are good? What kind of situations are bad? When to knowing, knowing when to fold. Right, and that's that's the stock market is just like that, man. The stock market is literally gambling. It literally is. Now, there's you can educate yourself and you can you can improve your position, but the way that most what they call retail uh, players do is they, they don't know as much as the insiders know. So it's it's more like a gamble than it is an investment. Different word, I guess. Um, and I know that this is a gamble, but it's one that that the, the upside is so high that it's worth the risk of a thousand dollars. So I want, anyway, I guess what I'm saying is that I wanted to sort of put this video out there to, uh, to tell you where I'm at, what's, what's, you know, what's happening in my day and, and, and to, uh, I, I, th I thought it would be good to have a, pr have a prologue to what might happen on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, and then th with the GameStop stock, and then what's, hap what's gonna happen weeks or months from now with AMC, if that ever materializes, because it's taken GameStop months to get to where it is now. Um, anyway, I'm just, I thought it would be an interesting uh, prologue for the rest of that story. Uh, so stay tuned, I guess, to the Royal Dorks to find out how this story ends. Hopefully it'll be soon. We'll, we'll know a little bit more in the next couple of days. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying my grilled cheese sandwich with me and with little Sophia there who's watching Blippi right now and enjoying her sandwich. She did pretty good. Uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.